Hi, my name is Ben Gilbert. I'm currently a student at Towson University, and my all-time favorite hobby is hiking with my dog, Sammy. When I was about eight years old, we got Sammy. Best day of my life. Ever since then, I just loved taking him out for walks, especially as a kid. But the older we both got, the more we both wanted to challenge ourselves to hiking. Then, after finding new places to hike pretty much every week, hiking basically became like kind of like a routine for us. I'll always start getting ready by getting a water bottle out of the cabinet, which is always an important step to the process, because you don't want to get dehydrated. After I fill that up, I'll go grab his bowl so that I'll be able to pour water out for him during our hike. Then I'll make sure I grab some refrigerated water for myself too and then start packing all up in a drawstring bag since I think those are the easiest to carry for hiking purposes. And Sammy will wait for me to put his collar and leash on. <laughs> and this is usually when he gets really excited to go and figures out what we're doing. But once the leash is secured, we go ahead and make our way out into the car. And that's where the adventure really starts. I've also realized it's a lot better to throw a sheet down in the passenger seat before Sammy gets in the car because everyone knows how much of a hassle it is to have dog hair stuck on everything. But then once the sheet is down, he jumps up and gets settled in. And then I'll walk around to the driver's seat, buckle up, and head on out. Whenever we go on just a casual hike, we typically only drive to places that are about 20 or 30 minutes away from our house in Hagerstown. Even the drive itself is a fun part of hiking because it's just nice to see new parts of town and check out the area. And then usually when we arrive, I'll make sure to grab his leash and let him jump down and then the hiking begins. When we got Sammy, I started taking him for walks around the neighborhood. But then when, once I was able to drive, we started taking him for hikes. We started taking him for hikes around areas like Black Rock and the CNO Canal. When we were able to start taking hikes, it was a lot more, it was a lot more fun and a lot more quality time for just him and I. I would definitely suggest hiking if you have a dog to other people because it just gives you opportunity to spend some time with your dog and just get away from the house. It's nice to just go on a walk through the woods and be at peace with everything. Personally, I love taking walks in the wood in general because it's just fun getting out to see different sides of nature. You can see up close into hollow trees, you can see the leaves changing colors in the fall time, and check out different types of plants and anything else on the ground that sticks out to us during the hike. And then of course, usually when we get tired or start to sweat, we'll find a good and quiet spot to sit down and take a break from the hike. Usually I'll just find a random log, pull out the drawstring bag, and grab the water container and pour, out, pour the water from that into Sammy's water bowl. And it's kind of funny to watch him slurp the water up as if he's never had water before. Then I'll grab the water bottle out for myself and drink a few sips to get my energy back and explore some more. It's great for dogs to just get out and be around different types of scents. They get to smell animals like deer, bears, squirrels, any kind of animal like that. And occasionally they'll run into other people walking their dogs too and they'll smell them too. I would say for Sam and I, our most strenuous hike is probably on Cunningham Falls because of the amount of rocks we have to climb through and probably going through the water. That's a lot of work for him. Even if it means we're crawling and ducking under big trees that have fallen in our path or stepping over logs that are, that are in our way too, we always get through it. A few obstacles will always stand in our way of hikes, but that's why it's so fun and challenging. We just gotta find ways around it. Eventually we'll reach the overlook, which is the ultimate goal of any hike really. The overlook is usually the peak of the mountain you're climbing up where you can see out into the city or see over the mountains or in the land in general. The view is always worth all the struggles of making it up there anyway, because Sammy and I will take that time to de-stress, forget about all of our worries, and just enjoy our time up there together. Then the hike must come to an end, and we'll head back down to the car and work on planning out our next awesome adventure.